to ask you, um, some teachers speak of a state of total absorption where just all the attention and all the concentration is in, in the source and there is no awareness of, um, of the outside world and also they say to stop the mind. And mm -hmm. I feel that at the same time, uh, it's spoken about just uh, that the mind doesn't have to stop and that the only thing that should be done is to observe the one that is experiencing everything, but that the thoughts continue and the perception continue, only there is this um, sort of detachment. You have this way to always make two seemingly opposite things to show us how they are the same thing. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to check with you. As usual, you are right. The two opposites are not really opposites. <laughs> <laughs> it's simply, <clears throat> I mean, you cannot simply decide, now I'm getting so much absorbed in the source, so the external world disappears. You can decide as much as you want, but then you still will have all your sense perceptions and all that. <clears throat> it can just happen that sometimes you get absorbed so much, then really, this whole world, the whole universe disappears. But that doesn't mean you have to somehow desperately try and stay there. That, that, that is an experience, that is an aspect of reality, but then it's also an aspect of reality that the appearance is there again. And that, that source that you have been experiencing maybe more in its purity when the world disappears, wants to express itself in so many ways. And then it's perfectly all right that you are focusing on not getting involved and still playing in your role. It both is right, but uh, when you sit down and meditate, then you can get absorbed. And if you just get absorbed and absorbed, then there is no question. But if the thoughts come, if the emotions come and disturb you, then it's good to just, as good as you can, simply observe it without identifying it. And relax and become aware there is that aspect of you that is not affected by any of what is happening. But the, the observation of this, it's still coming from the mind, right? It's a very subtle mind. For... The mind, of course, has to give the impulse that you become aware of it. But that observing actually is happening all the time. There is that uh, Im unmovable aspect of you, not affected by any of what is going on. <clears throat> at the same time, in a way, eagerly experiencing whatever is happening. That the observation is happening all the time. On the, on the mental level, we just give the impulse, connect with that observation. Of course, the, the temptation in the mind is to create an observer. And then we create again a new guy. <laughs> that one guy is observing the other guy <laughs> and, and then we have to observe the observer <laughs> and then we have to observe the observer of the observer of the observer yeah, yes yes and it feels like just a game with more layers and <laughs> right right uh, and when you become aware that okay it's not simply observing i'm creating that witness i'm creating that new mm -hmm being yes, exactly. then this is a mental activity and mm -hmm. you can uh, you can see that and you can just let go and become aware that observing is simply happening there is that immovable aspect of you observing the immobility of itself and also all the stuff that is going on 
this observation is happening all the time when we can consciously on the mind on the mental level give the impulse to bring the attention to that observation that is happening all the time and then you don't create a witness a new observer mm. it's so more, so this it's more that you are aware what's going on and instead of uh, doing something about it just relax in that observation but if you relax deep enough then it may happen that you get absorbed so totally in that source that this whole story disappears for some time. It's not something that you can do, really. It's something that is happening sometimes if you remove the obstacles and let it happen. Then, of course, you said that some teachers say you have to force your attention there and absorb. You can forcibly try to focus on that, but it's a will exercise and you cannot do that too long then you explode and you can't do it anymore <laughs> it's more you can maybe for a moment with the will bring the attention here but then relax relax and if there is disturbing stuff stuff happening in the mind emotions come up uh, memories come up thoughts come up then step as good as you can out of it Observe it, become aware of the observation that goes on, but then again relax it. And in that relaxation, your attention may sometimes get so totally absorbed that the whole story disappears again. Mm. But it's not something that you have to try now to stay there forever, that you never become aware of the world again. <laughs> so, the point why we are here is that we are learning through experience, that we are getting richer through experience. Otherwise, we could have stayed in that unmanifest, but no, somehow we take that crazy decision to jump into this crazy world and, and do something there. So, but we can learn to be in that process aware, connected with that aspect of oneself that is not affected by it, then it becomes play. And sometimes then the attention may be withdrawn from the whole story and you forget about it. But then it comes up again and then you let it happen. You let the world happen, you play, let that personality happen, but you are aware, okay, this personality is the, is the channel through which I'm connecting with the rest of the theater and it's all right. Simply don't identify with it. Observe, but be aware. Uh, the more you are aware, the more you are rooted in the silent aspect, the less you have to remind yourself to observe. That reminding yourself to observe is simply to, to help to detach from being totally identified, involved on the relative level. But as you said, <laughs> again, the two opposites, are not really opposite. That uh, sometimes your attention may be totally withdrawn, the world disappears, but then it's still there in its potential uh, way, and then it appears again. You play your role, and you play it in a beautiful way, as good as you can, and then the mind <coughs> may be keep quiet again, the thoughts may keep, be quiet again, still the perceptions may be there, but then the perception also may be withdrawn in the source and the world disappears. It's two aspects, two sides of the same story. So it's it's almost like there's two levels of attention. There's the attention that the personality, it can be the ego or it can be the sad big seeker, but there's the attention that this layer is giving, but then the true attention you speak about is always there, right? Mm. And that's where our focus should be. We can learn to bring our conscious attention to that. Mm. That's basically the job. That's what we are trying. Uh, and <laughs> gradually it gets better and better and easier and easier. 
But I, I noticed that a lot, that quite often when I'm trying to turn this attention, uh, too much of the seeker is created and it's finally noise, you know, it's a more sadvic noise, but it's, it's noise yeah. and it's effort. So do you have any advice to, to be able to have this push to turn without creating the one who is turning and the one who is speaking about how silent everything is and just relaxing? Yeah. And how are you just to know how to how to reply how are you usually doing that when you want to withdraw when you what you just described is there a certain way you are going about it mm, it's it's hard to explain um it's just sort of feeling it's like um a dropping and retreating or I, I it's cannot not, really it's explain. not a special it's not a special technique that you are using mm -hmm, no okay now try uh, when you feel that uh, that seeker <laughs> or observer personality is totally springing up then okay you you see uh, you see it already so that's already a great step that you are aware that this is happening so just Instead of fighting with that, just redirect the attention mm -hmm. to the simple thing of consciously breathe in, breathe out. Breathe and relax. Mm -hmm. Relax your body and breathe consciously. And see, still you see what's going on, what the mind has been doing, trying to accomplish <laughs> meditation or something. But at the same time, just consciously breathe in, breathe out, and relax. It's it's magic how a simple thing can totally change the whole thing. But then you don't get into a struggle. You don't start to fight with yourself. No, I don't <laughs> want to do this. I don't want this to happen. And it's simply by redirecting the attention to that which is anyhow happening the whole day long. You breathe in. Brief out. So you can as well do it consciously at this moment and just relax. Something else I've been doing since last week that that you told me was to somehow ask what is making all this experience possible. And mm -hmm. you told me that last week and I also find it's very helpful to sort of release everything. Yeah. Mm. Good. Continue mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it.